use a vegan, but you go in him. Yeah. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for tuning in to Pretty Brown Vegan, the place for plant-based comfort foods. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. In today's video, I will show you the ultimate vegan stuffed baked potato. This baked potato is loaded with vegan mac and cheese, vegan fried cauliflower, and more. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So we do need to go ahead and get started and prepare our potatoes. I am using two russet potatoes. I did pre-wash these, as you can see, it's a little bit wet. And then I do go ahead and poke some holes in them with a fork. Once you get those um, poked with some holes in there, go ahead and put them on a rack and put them in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then we're gonna go ahead and prepare our mac and cheese. I am using these um, kabatapi noodles that are made from chickpeas. You see the brand there. And I just go ahead and boil those according to package instructions. Then prepare our cheese sauce. We do need some unsweetened coconut milk. We will use a whole can. We do go ahead and get started with the thickest part on the top and then pour the rest of that milk in there. And then just go ahead and melt it all down. Once you get that milk melted down, you'll go ahead and add in your cheese. I am using one package of these um, chow shreds by Field Roast. And then just go ahead and continually stir this until it melts down. Once the pieces start melting down really good um, and you see that there are just a, a few small bits remaining, go ahead and come at it with a whisk. Make sure it's a whisk that can withstand high heat and just go ahead and keep whisking it until it turns into a creamy sauce. Once the sauce is prepared, we're gonna go ahead and add in those cooked noodles that we have prepared. Um, just a note, if you guys aren't aware, when you're making the noodles, um, when you pull it off of the heat initially, go ahead and run it under some cold water so that they don't overcook um, and strain them out. And then go ahead now and toss them back into this cheese sauce that we prepared. Once you have those nice and tossed and coated into the cheese, go ahead and add in some seasonings. You guys can see the seasonings that I add here. Once you have that well tossed, just go ahead and cover that up and keep that going on low heat. Then we're gonna go ahead and prepare a quick little garlic butter. So I use a couple cloves of chopped garlic and I took some plant butter. I used the Country Crock brand and I went ahead and melted a few tablespoons. And then I just go ahead and mix it right in with that garlic. About now, those potatoes should be done with their first baking. I go ahead and pull them right out of the oven and pour some of that garlic butter right on top. 
And then I do go ahead and pop this back into the oven for an additional 20 to 25 minutes. These potatoes, um, you know, vary. Just go ahead and give them a squeeze test when you take them out of the oven and make sure that they're soft and we're good to go from there. While those continue finishing up their second baking, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our fried cauliflower. To make these, I am using an egg substitute. These are um, energy powdered eggs that I prepared and I went ahead and prepared that according to the package instructions. And I just go ahead and toss it in the egg here, um, right in the bowl. Once the cauliflower is well tossed in the egg, I do go ahead and get it some seasoning here. You guys can see the seasonings that I add in. Once you have all your seasonings tossed in there, um, just go ahead and give it another shake. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in our cornmeal. And just eyeball the cornmeal, just add enough breading um, that you prefer. I just went ahead and added in a bit here and gave it a nice toss. And then we're gonna go ahead and heat some oil up in a skillet. And just go ahead and fry your cauliflower on each side until all the sides are golden. Just make sure that they're fully brown and golden before you take them out. Once your cauliflower is ready, um, we are ready to assemble our baked potatoes. Just go ahead and cut them in half and give them a nice squeeze and go ahead and break some of that potato up on the inside.
Then I come back in with some of that butter that had melted down in the pan. I get a little bit of that out and drizzle it right on top. Then I load in my macaroni and cheese. And I add in a little bit of vegan bacon bits on top. Um, a lot of people don't know, but a lot of imitation bacon bits are already vegan. Just make sure you're reading your labels. Um, some of them have real meat in it, and some of them are completely um, veggie based. So just go ahead and read your labels on those. And then I come in with our fried cauliflower right on top and a little bit of garnish. And that's it. This is super simple. It just takes a couple steps, but it's not hard at all, and it's very delicious. I think that I'll be making my loaded baked potatoes this way moving forward. It was fire. So if you guys enjoy this content, please give me a thumbs up please comment down below let me know if you guys will be giving this a try and thanks so much for watching